Hello, and welcome to the Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package as of November 9th, 2000. Well, today we got interesting news, but let's get into the other news. How about that? Right now, we have a lame duck president in Congress says that they will start to begin their lame duck section as well. What a lame duck is, is a duck that cannot keep up with the flock. He gets separated and left behind and is no longer part of the group. On January 20th, Trump will be left behind, so he is considered a lame duck president. It is the same for the Senate as well as the Congress. So, so I guess the Congress is both is the House of Representatives and the Senate separate from the Congress, so that's just to me. Since they're basically into their re-election period since they're uh, people who got put, taken out of power are still waiting until January 3rd to make it removed, so they're in a lame duck session right now. The Senate has returned back to work this morning. Some Republicans want a bigger stimulus package, but Mitch McConnell says a smaller stimulus package would be just fine. Nancy Pelosi says that the Democrats now have the upper hand and President-elect Joe Biden gave his victory speech this morning, or should I say this weekend, sorry, about unity and time to heal the United States of America. So he wants to heal the United States of America and gives unity. So that's two pluses, I guess. President Trump has yet to accept the fact that he lost the uh, presidential elections and says that he will basically barricade himself in the Oval Office and he continues to sue more states and more states. And did I mention more states? And Pfizer says that the vaccine is vaccine they're working on is basically more than 90% effective in preventing COVID-19 and the stock market rising. It's like soaring massive. Now that we are in the lame duck session, many of the people are wondering what's gonna happen with the stimulus. Well, Senate leader Mitch McConnell. Basically says he wants a smaller stimulus package because the October's job report came in at a basically low of 6.9% of unemployment rate. McConnell basically said that that is stunning. So stunning. It's a 6.9%. And let's see, Nancy Pelosi said that the smaller stimulus package don't interest her because the American people are hurting and need the help. Two Republican senators, such as Lindsey Graham, said that the first priority is passing the stimulus package before January, and that he favors a larger stimulus package. When Larry Kudlow was asked if the $1.92 trillion stimulus package was still on the table, when Republicans, Kudlow, Responded with, we haven't even talked about the numbers yet. Wow, they haven't even talked about the numbers. Okay, just because the reported unemployment claims right now are 6.9%, that doesn't mean that that's actually accurate because there's a lot of people out there that have applied and actually don't get unemployment because they haven't applied before. So I bet you think the numbers are actually higher than 6.9%. And let's see here. They haven't talked about the number. She says we should get the basically we should get a clarification on the stimulus package sometime this week. When that happens, I will let you guys know for sure. In political news, there are 100, 100 seats in the Senate. The Republicans have 50 seats, Democrats have 20, uh, 48 seats, and there's still two seats left up for grabs. And these two seats are from the Georgia elections for the Senate. And basically, what happened with that was is that Georgia has a state law that says that for a person to be elected into office, they have to have 50% or more of the electoral vote to be put in there. Well, on their elections for the Republican, he got 49.8% shy of 50%. And so basically, I guess another candidate is, did as well. That's why they have a runoff. And so on January 3rd, they're actually going to be doing elections all over again for the House of Senate. The two seats in the Senate, basically, and now hoping that they put the Democrats in the House, in the Senate, sorry, because it'll actually turn the tables 
make it so it's an even playing ground with the one uh, Trump card, I hate to put it that way, one Trump card known as Camila Harris, which is the Democratic Vice President of the Senate. And she would be the tiebreaker. So let's tie that, let's tie that Senate up and get 50 50 for Democrats and Republicans and see what happens. And regarding the COVID 19 news, data from Pfizer, the Pfizer's phase three uh, clinical trials, they show that the vaccine, that they have a vaccine that has prevented more than 90% of infections from COVID 19. Dr. Fauci said that the results were more than just good, they were. Excellent. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't, I couldn't help. This one. And on Saturday, we reported 128,412 new COVID. The fatalities have not come in yet to my attention, but into my hands yet. But when it does, I will let you guys know what's going on. So, but until next time, you guys have an excellent evening, and I will basically broadcast again to you guys tomorrow or when more relevant comes available that you need. Until next time, have a wonderful day. Next week, Monday. Stay safe. Remember, we're all in this together.